What's up everybody? It's Brian and I'm coming to you with not another random thought, but just a video trying to speak to you and let you know some things that I've been thinking about because today I am having a crappy day, a very, very crappy day. And a lot of times everybody just puts videos up when they're feeling good, they're talking about crushing it. And I am definitely a person who's really trying to, you know, promote positive thinking you know, not being down, but some that sometimes you just have a crappy day. And I think we don't talk about it enough, just like I did the video about anxiety, which I feel like a lot of people don't talk about enough. Um, but sometimes you just have crappy days. You know, I got up this morning and all yesterday I was kind of feeling sick. Everybody's sick. I live in New York and everybody's been kind of fighting colds and I really was dealing with it yesterday um, I was a little concerned because I didn't know how much it was going to affect my body um, my stomach was messed up uh, I was feeling achy you know and then I think a little bit of the the toll that it took on my body kind of got to my mind you know because it's all connected which is why I said it's important when you get up in the morning to like address your mind or your mind, your body, and your soul. So anyway, I got up this morning. First of all, my wrist was killing me all night. Um, so much so that I had to like just get up and find this. I couldn't find it. And I, I said, I absolutely have to find this during the night. Um, and then just all kinds of things were weighing on my mind. You know, like I'm really thankful for Gary kind of helping me uh, to realize that it's not so much about the numbers. Um, you know, if you do social media marketing or just social media, you, you gotta have numbers. You gotta show people numbers because pe people can't, I, I say this, I haven't met the person yet who's like, hey, I really dig what you're doing. I really dig the concept that you have. Let me throw some money behind that and let's see where it goes. It's more like, well, what kind of numbers are you getting? But the numbers, so I don't want to say that they're, they have no value, but they're not as important. You have to look at your content and say, is this what I want to say? Am I doing it the best that I can be doing it? And, you know, go from there. Um, I'm at the point now where I'm getting videos every week. In fact, this is my first week and it's only Tuesday that I've had, you know, last week I had several videos getting into the five figures. Uh, high five figures for views and you know that might not seem crazy if you're looking at someone like Kim Kardashian but when I when I start I started these pages from scratch you know and uh, you know I still have some pages that I just recently started because as I've gotten the other pages going I'm starting new ones so that I can have everything up and going and so I'm seeing like 12 likes <laughs> you know and it, it weighs on you, you know, there's no way. I'm a human being, we're humans, we, you can't help but feel some kind of way. Um, something that Gary said that I really never really appreciated is you you need to learn how to value no's. And that's one of my greatest assets. You know, everything I've done, I've never got it easy. Um, and I've always had to start from the bottom and work my way up. Everything, I've had some pretty great successes. You know, I started from the bottom as a saxophone player in high school, not even knowing about Allstate and all that stuff. And then by the end of it, I was the top saxophone player in my state, arguably, um, which was a major accomplishment. Uh, I got to college, started from the bottom, worked my way up, but I could not overcome certain barriers that I feel were there for certain reasons, but for whatever reason, I didn't get it done. Uh, some of the blame, I'll take some of the blame. I can't take all of it, but I will take, I will take the, I will take 100% of the failure. I won't take all the blame, but I will take 100% of the failure. I didn't get it done. There, there was reasons why, but at the end of the day, it doesn't matter what the reasons were. I didn't get the job done um, to get to the top of my college. 
got to came out to New York, was able to get into the scene fast, but wasn't able to break through with that either because I just wasn't getting the calls to, to bring me the money that I would need to sustain a life as a musician. But then, you know, I had some enough work in New York to keep me going, you know. I don't even want to get really into that. What I want to talk about more, what I want to stay, I want to stay, I, I have Brian's random thoughts because I have random thoughts. I want to stay on the fact that today I woke up and I felt like crap. I felt like crap in my heart. I felt like crap in my mind. I felt frustrated. I felt tired. I felt like things were too much for me to overcome. And then I had to, and so like, I was thinking, what do I do? What do I do? What do I do? What can I do? What can I do? And I had to come to the realization that there's nothing I can do. Nothing I can do right now is going to change anything that I'm dealing with right now. Okay? And that's not a bad thing. It's a, it can be scary or it can kind of uh, be humbling. It can take the power from out of your hands. You, you feel like you're helpless. But I had to surrender. There's nothing I can do today. And I even let myself go through, not out of fear, but I let myself go through some of the worst case scenarios. One of the, the worst case, some of the worst case scenarios. And it's not that bad. I've been through them all. I've lived through them all. And I've kept going. You know, fear, fear and looking at other people is always, not always, is, all, is normally one of them, are normally the two main contributors to you feeling stressed and you feeling worried. Why live in, a, why live in fear? Why live in worry? You know, you don't have to fake it till you make it. You don't have to tell yourself that everything's great and that you're, you don't, you're not worried. Today I woke up and I was worried. I was concerned. There are financial things that I need to take care of that I know I'm going to take care of, that I believe I'm going to take care of. But today I woke up and I couldn't see any way that they were going to, it was going to happen. Today I woke up and I was thinking about things that I wish would have happened this year. Today I woke up and I didn't feel like the best version of myself. I felt tired, I felt weary. So I got into my morning routine and I felt better. I had some coffee and I felt a little bit better. I made some choices of how I was gonna go about my day today and I felt a little bit better. But the main thing that I did was I accepted what today was and I let go of trying to control or trying to pull a, a magical rabbit out of a hat and I realized that I can't change today but I can work today I can do what I've been doing and stay consistent and maybe tomorrow there might be something waiting for me when I wake up maybe there might be something waiting for me tonight when I go to sleep maybe there might be something waiting for me that because of what I'm doing today because I don't give up I don't feel sorry for myself I, I put my clothes on and I hit it hard and I hit it hard feeling like crap but that's what I can do you can only do something for moving forward I wish that something would have hit today but as a but and, it, and something may very well happen today but that didn't come from today it came from something I did already so just let go and realize that you're gonna have bad days and it's okay, you know? Doesn't, doesn't mean you're a bad person, doesn't mean you're a failure, it just means you had a bad day. I'm having a bad day, but it's getting better each hour. Um, I give myself permission to kind of take it a little bit easier, but still keep this content going. So if you're having a bad day, or if you ever have a bad day, look at this video and remember, it's okay, stuff happens, do what you can do so that tomorrow will be a little bit better. All right, be well.